There was a breeze. The green grass swayed in the moonlight, and there stood the hunter. That alone formed a picture. Any artist who could have committed to canvas the inner thoughts of the young man as he stood there between life and death would have become prisoner of his own madness. Although the resulting painting would surely endure forever as a treasure of the art world. Here they come. The ruins were roughly 500 yards away. The riders approaching across the grassland seemed to float in a horrifying sort of slow motion. Both mounts and riders were covered by dull gray armor. Reaching a spot about 30 feet shy of thee, they halted. The Wraith Knights. I've heard of them. There was no reply at all, as if it had been addressing the moon. The ash-gray figures lingered there in the moonlight like veritable ghosts. The leader's blade squealed as it slid from the scabbard on the knight's hip. At the same time, the other nine drew their weapons in unison. Three had swords, three more bows, and the last three had lances. Their weapons differed little from those of the four knights. Where are the princess and the others? One of the riders raised his head to laugh, but no voice came out. Its laughter had stopped. D was up over its head. The hunter's 30-foot leap had no doubt been faster than the wraith knight's eyes could follow. With a shower of sparks, the blade of D's sword crumpled, but it also plowed right through the knight from the top of its head all the way down to its abdomen. As he came back to Earth, Dee looked at his foe. The feeling he'd gotten from his blade hadn't been ordinary resistance. Something like a white fog poured from the crack in the iron. In places, the cloud glittered as if it were laced with silver. Once the fog had fallen from the horseback to the ground, it took on a human form. An insect on the plane came into contact with the fog-like being and suddenly fell over. Death essence? Some might have called it a supernatural aura, or an eerie miasma. But as it took the life of anything that touched it right on the spot, death essence seemed the most fitting name. This was the true form of the band of ghostly riders. The hazy mass moved toward D, seeming to be both borne on the wind and fighting it at the same time. The hunter no longer had a sword, and even if he'd still possessed one, it would have been impossible to cut this amorphous and unearthly cloud. As for Dee, he did nothing but stand still, 